Kompangwa Minasan Chronicle Des. Okay, I am going to go through about this dragon, Opinus, and he is second light dragon unit in this game. And about his role, he is nothing but pure attacker, super attacker. Especially, his attack power is based from physical attack and magic attack. Yeah, both is very high. And his maximum HP is not bad. And the rest is okay. And I haven't even fully mastered his gates yet. I only master his second gate, sixth gate, and seventh gate. That's all. So his herbal status can be even higher. Same goes to the runes. I haven't fully maxed the pride rune yet. And about the side bonus, I think increase his maximum HP will be good. And with anything, like for example, bad status resistance or accuracy, single attack or every attack. Yeah, or um, maybe you can equip with a uh, bad status resistance. Up to you. And then with physical attack plus magic attack and shooting type and heal power should be good. And then anything, 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 anything. And for the pride rune, you guys can increase his physical attack or magic attack or even dex. But make sure you need to increase his shooting attack and maybe some resistance and accuracy and status resistance. And then for this one, physical attack, magic attack, and dex. And for the second one, you can either increase his physical attack or magic attack. And HP should be best. And single attack or area attack. But make sure you guys need to have the shots. And for the Phantom Memory, you can increase his shooting attack or any resistance. Yeah, up to you. For my case, I equip him with magic resistance up. And then with physical attack and magic attack up, plus a bit dex and magic defense. You also can increase his maximum HP. No problem. And next is about his other parameter status. And since he is long range, Shooter, so by increasing his shooting range will be good and then heal power accuracy okay you will gain and shooting attack strong versus human and resistant defend versus human strong versus dark elemental resistant poison attack okay and status resistant his parallel resistant not bad the rest is okay and debuff reduction and next is about his main ability and I will not go through everything. You guys can read through the description later on during the animation part. And first thing first, most of his skills will ignore the enemy's defense and rash ability. Very nice. And also it is 100% hit for this skill, second skill and third skill. But it doesn't apply to this fourth skill so beware. But at least he will reduce the enemy reaction block attack. And also with crack up, best status, CD down, notified. But it will also target towards your allies. Unless you master his fifth gate. And next is about his sub ability. Also not bad. Especially this skill. All of the enemies within the map will have HP dual regen notified plus crack up notified plus reduce the dual regen rate. Very good against some enemy with annoying buff when they have HP regen or dual regen or clock status. So basically, it's very good for PvP. And for his main job, Rash Abete, just equip it. No need to change. Yeah, this is just too good. It will animate before the enemy's attack plus it doesn't have any range limit. Yeah, basically, even if the enemy attacks him from very far away, range 20, it will still animate. And it will increase his maximum HP, attack power, and shooting range, and can be stacked two times for two turns. Very good. And also recover jewel. But please beware, this buff can be removed or notified from the enemy. And for the support abilities, just equip with this two, because it will greatly increase his magic attack and physical attack and also increase shooting range yeah and then strong versus human defense versus human yeah so basically it's double overdrive but depends the situation you can switch one of them with this one if you want to increase his magic resistance 
Yeah, otherwise, just equip with this two and you are done. Same goes to his special ability and sub ability. No need to change. And next is about his dragon skill and I will start with this skill, dragon effect. This is only very good for him because everybody, including himself in the map, will have all this debuff. It will reduce all attack modifier to zero. Except for Song vs. the Elemental or Song vs. the Seeds. Yeah, this two doesn't reduce to zero. And also radius, Elemental Resistance, Type Resistance, All Defense, Heal Power and Evasion 50%. And it can be further radius below 50% by using Chihaya or any debuffer. Yeah, no problem. And also with HP Jewel Region Nullified, all status attack, dual region rate ready down. Yeah, so basically, no best status at all. And what's more, even if your ally or enemies has debuff immune or resistance, it doesn't matter. It will still reduce. Yeah. And the only good thing about this weather effect is only about himself. All parameter status ready up and shooting range plus one. That's all. Yeah, so you need to realize his pure status to attack the enemy. Yeah, since his attack modifier also reduced to zero. But at least the enemy's attack power will be very low. Unless you are fighting against high physical attacker or high magic attacker, like for example, Limu or Zaha, those kind of creator. And then for the second skill, it will greatly increase his physical attack and magic attack for one turn. And it can be stacked with the weather effect. Very nice. And then for this fourth skill, it's whole map attack. It will disable the enemy reflect and absorb and all buff. Yeah, very nice. But you only can use one time, so beware. And lastly is this skill. Super good. Because of the shooting range, 5. And can be extend. And the AOE width is 3. Basically, it's long laser and also targets towards enemies. Yeah, but this skill is not 100% hit, so beware. And next is about the Mementos. Well, I think his Mementos is almost a must if you really want to use him. Yeah, especially for PvP. Otherwise, I think you can use other Mementos like from the Northern Pride to replace. Yeah, just for the group skill. And this Mementos is very good for him because it will increase the speed. And then magic attack. Since his mementos doesn't increase any M attack or speed. And then for the good skill, it increases shooting range and debuff turn. Very nice. And for the BJ ability, it's not bad, but please beware. This BJ ability can be only be used from his human form, not dragon form. So if you guys using him for arena, please turn off the transformation to the dragon. And for the gears, besides this accessory, I think these two gears is not bad. Yeah, but this accessory, please equip it at all times because it greatly increases his physical attack and magic attack plus speed. And you can use wipe ability. But if you guys don't have this accessory, just equip with anything that increases these two status. Yeah, because he cannot equip any weapon. Yeah, you need to equip with accessory. And then for this armor from Inasho Mementos. Everything is very good for him, but he cannot use the weapon ability. Yeah, too bad. And then this accessory is from Kadanoba Mementos, not the limited one. Increase accuracy, defense, and shooting resistance. And he can use the weapon ability. Increase all defense for one turn. But then jump attack is not for him. And for the alternate choice, you guys can always equip this OP armor from the Phantom of the Kill. But please beware, this armor can be only get from the POTK Red Boss, not Pot Red. And then it will increase his defense, HP, and counter attack resistance. Very nice. Or maybe you can equip with this kind of armor from the Beta Tower. Yeah, also very good for him overall. Or this one, up to you. If you guys don't have his Mementos, you can equip with this accessory from Tolito New Mementos, but it is limited as well. It increases the attack power plus jump, 
but he doesn't need this too, so beware. This accessory you can get from Soul First Mementos, but limited. And it will increase his speed, accuracy, and shooting attack. Not bad. Or uh, this kind of accessory from the Gear Summon, or maybe from some of the Mementos Vision Girl Award, that will greatly increase his resistance for 3 times from the start. Yeah, basically it's for Arena. This accessory is from Kaigan Bonus Reward. You need to fully master your character, Gates, in order to unlock the Kaiga bonus. I am not really that sure it's up to what level, but it is very good for him because of this weapon ability. There is a property of recover his HP when he receives any damage, and also increase all elemental resistance plus reduce the dual cost. Yeah, really very good. And this accessory is from one of the old Christmas events. Also not bad because of Academy Freeze resistance and permanent increase his master HP. But it will reduce his fire resistance and jump, so beware. And lastly is this accessory will increase all of his status resistance. So if you equip with status resistance set bonus plus 15, total up will be plus 45. Everything. So this will be the end of the information. Well, he is a must-have unit. Really must-have. Too powerful for all types of content. Maybe besides the Red Boss, yeah. Other than Red Boss, he is just very good. If you guys wanted to earn more gems from the arena, yes, he is one of the key creator for the arena formation. Because most of the arena formation, you'll be seeing him. Yeah, most of the time. But the bad part about him is, he is not so easy to train because of the shot. Unless you want to try some of the luck from the ancient gacha or some super pickup. Otherwise, it's really very hard. And for the next part of the video, I will show the skill animation, description, and arena. Everything. Thank you for watching this video. See ya, Sayonara.
龍の王の何たるか味わうがいい味わうがいい。
Yeah. 